Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to read you a story and it's called Silver Shoes and it's a story that um, it's written by Caroline, Caroline Binge um, and it's from the collection, sorry, there is no... Francis Lincoln Children's Book and it's a picture book today, I'm going to read you a picture book, okay? Silver Shoes Grant's bottom drawer seemed like a treasure chest to Molly. Inside were sparkly bags, shiny shoes and brightly coloured shawls. Beautiful things for Grant to wear when she went dancing with Gran Grandad. Can I wear your silver shoes, Gran? Molly always asked. Clickety-clackety went the heels as Molly danced. She felt, like she felt just like a grown-up lady. At home, Molly danced with her best friends Bev Bev with her best friend Beverly. They liked to dress up and copy the pop stars on television. Girls, I think it's time you went to dance le to dancing lesson lessons. Laughed Molly's mom. Can I have some silver shoes? Asked Molly, just like Rand's. But Molly's mom said she must wait to see if she liked the classes before she bought any shoes. For the dance class, Molly and Beverly wore their prettiest dresses. Hello, I'm Mrs. Clover, said the teacher. Welcome to our dance class. Molly looked at the teacher's shoes. They were silver. She looked around the hall. Nearly all the other girls had silver shoes too. Mrs. Clover, I haven't got any silver shoes, said Molly in dismay. That's okay, said the teacher, smiling. But my gran has silver shoes for dancing, said Molly in a wobbly voice. She buried her head in her mum's dress. Mummy, I want to go home. The following week, Beverly ran into Molly's house, holding a pair of shoes, silver shoes. Look what I have, she shouted. Beverly had been given an old pair of, of silver shoes that her cousin had, had outgrown. Molly didn't want to play with her, friends in, with her friend anymore. But Mum had, had, had an idea. At the, cherry, at the charity shop, they found a blouse for Mum, two jigsaw puzzles and some toys for Stephen, but no silver shoes for Molly. Then Molly saw them, a beautiful pair of, of silver shoes, almost exactly the same as Gran's. Mommy, look, I found them, she shrieked. Those are adults' shoes, Molly, said Mom. You won't be able to dance in them. But Molly wanted them anyway. Molly kept the silver shoes by her bed that night. As soon as she woke up, she put them on and she wore them all day long. She couldn't wait to see to show them to Gran. Together, they twirled around Gran's tiny living room until they were dizzy. On Tuesday, Molly and Beverly went to dance class again. Look, Mrs. Clover, I have my silver shoes now. They are, ju they are just like my grand's and she does proper dancing, said Molly proudly. But Mrs. Clover shook her head. I'm sorry, Molly. High heels won't do, she said kindly. You might trip up and hurt yourself. Please, wear your ordinary shoes. Daddy came home early that, mo that evening. Let's go to the park, he suggested. You can ride your bike, Molly. Yippee, Molly cried. I'll wear my silver shoes. Daddy looked at Mom. 
Um, why don't you wear your other shoes to ride your bike, Molly? You can put the sh silver shoes in the basket. They had, sorry, Daddy pushed Molly and Stephen high on the swings and bought them both and I slowly. They had such a good time that Molly forgot all about her silver shoes until bedtime. Molly snuggled under, under the bedclothes as Daddy tucked her in. I'd, I'd, really like some, I'd really like some proper silver shoes, she sighed. Now, Molly, I'll tell you a secret, whispered Dad. Special things that you want very much often come at special times. But I may wait, but I may have, sorry, but I may have to wait ages for a special time, said Molly. Plenty of time then, pet, to learn some new dances with Mrs. Clover, replied Dad. Molly, Molly smiled sleepily and hugged her dad good night. At dance class the next week, Molly was concentrating so hard she forgot she was wearing ordinary shoes. The following week, Molly had such fun she didn't think about her shoes at all. And in the third week, she danced so fast she could hardly see her feet. In the fourth week, it was Molly's birthday. She tore open her presents one by one. She saved Gran and Granda's present until last. Silver shoes! My own silver shoes! cried Molly happily, and she put them on. Now Molly felt like a proper dancer. But she still liked to wear her clickety-clackety shoes when she danced for Gran. And that was a story of silver shoes. I'll show you this. It's beautifully drawn. And that was silver shoes by Caroline Binge in the back. I hope you get you had a good time. See you soon. Bye.